Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back to the Sunday recap, my weekly vlog where I cover my last week in games. Um, so, as always, we'll start with EVE Online. I would say I played an average amount of EVE Online, uh, while my normal gameplay time, like mining, doing some industry, has not been that much. I did actually... Uh, get into the preparations for uh, the uh, the next uh, set of structures, the industrial arrays. So uh, what I have done is, of course, I kept up with my blueprint copy business, which in the first half of the week went pretty well. I could still sell stuff pretty much every day, but in the second half, it's completely collapsed. Um, and now I'm basically only able to sell the Strauss blueprint copy at a decent price. The rest is like very hesitant for some reason it's a bit strange uh, but uh, I'll, I'll keep a close eye on it of course because it's been such a great resource um, for my wallet that uh, I do want to keep going with uh, with all of the blueprint copies that I'm making but at the moment basically my stocks are increasing in Jita um, and uh, they're not selling that well uh, I also tried uh, two contracts uh, for two blueprint copies in my own citadel uh, but I think that visibility just isn't high enough to actually try and get a, a, a blueprint copy business to run from there but we'll see how that goes uh, it's all part of the experimentation of course um, Another thing that I did do, of course, as part of my preparation, is that I finally moved my stocks of minerals that I'd been mining from Dital into Cheetah. Um, as I've said, I consider minerals to be extremely low at the moment, so I don't think that selling most of them is a good idea. I'd rather stock up um, and be prepared when minerals actually uh, go for a higher price, except for Mexalon. I did sell all of my Mexalon because that is the falling knife of minerals at the moment. It held for so long um, at a pretty high price, like 74 ISK or something like that. Uh, but now under pressure from all of the other minerals, many of whom are at six months lows, uh, Mexalon is actually drastically decreasing as well. Um, and I would rather sell now uh, so that other people are stuck with uh, that expensive Mexalon and see if I can't mine my way to my uh, to, to bigger stocks or something like that uh, rather than invest in Mexalon right now. I think it's still um, okay uh, if you want to unload those. But all the other ones, honestly, um, Noxium, six month low, Isogen, extremely low at six uh, month lows as well. Tritanium going well below six ISK. Not a good idea, I think. Um, and uh, tri uh, yeah, Tritanium and Pyrite is, is also pretty low, although that bounced back just a little bit. But I think that bounce will be squashed uh, very quickly. Um, so it's been all about trading, trying to get some liquid isk in the wallet to be ready. And uh, it's been going decently well. Uh, maybe one other uh, little trade that I should mention, as some of you may know, I managed to buy like uh, 10 um, confessors at 40 million or below that. And uh, that had that shot up uh, in the last week. I, I spotted that in Eve Talk. And so I unloaded all of those at 49 million. With the taxes, it's it's only like 7.5 million profit per confessor. Uh, but, you know, uh, on, a, on a 40 million investment, um, 10 of them, that makes me a clean 75 million in profit. So I was very happy to take that. And I'm po paused or ready to do the same with the, um, with the Kaldari um, um, Tactical Destroyer. I can't really come up with the name right now. Uh, but I've got 15 of those that I bought at 38 million ISK. And at the moment... Uh, apparently some alliances have made some moves on the very low um, tactical cruisers like the Tengu and the Legion. And so production is actually switching, funneling towards those uh, cruisers that have shot up in price. And as a result, I am expecting an opportunity to form in the tactical destroyer market, the Kaldari tactical destroyer market as well. And so I'm going to do if talk next week see if uh, if my prediction uh, works out and see if i can't get a nice little trade going uh, from those as well but yeah buying at 40 million selling at 49 million uh, for the confessors in less than two months uh, i think it's actually been a pretty good trade there uh, i pulled the trigger a little bit earlier than i expected i thought i would have to wait for something to actually change in the tech tree markets but nope managed to spot an opportunity thanks to if talk and i grabbed it Netting me 75 million isk, not bad. Um, of course, I'm looking forward to uh, the 07 show later tonight as well. Of course, I'm hoping for more information on the industrial arrays. I would actually like to know building costs, um, special mechanics that CCP may have uh, ready for that, uh, the abilities, all the different modules uh, or services, uh, they're called service slots in the structures uh, that. Uh, 
that that will be available for these new industrial arrays and then uh, try to come up with a plan um, to actually have production and research available in the detail system as well that's basically going to be uh, my next project and as i've said i'm in full preparation mode i'm actually pretty happy uh, because it's been very busy at work uh, in in the last few months in fact but i still managed to get a really nice amount of uh, eve online done uh, my preparations are going well my wallet's up to almost 3 billion now and uh, yeah I've, I've got uh, plenty of assets that i can liquidate as well if i really need to if it turns out to be much more expensive than i expect so i feel i'm doing well um, and uh, it's it's a fun process for me uh, to grind it out a little bit and to position myself ready for the next phase of uh, of my eve online adventure uh, next to EVE Online, I played a tiny bit of Overwatch. I really shouldn't uh, say it's it's been a daily activity or anything like that. Maybe two, three sessions of a couple of games. Um, it's still a lot of fun, uh, but of course, from day to day, it does. Uh, uh, the, the results uh, are, are quite different on some evenings. Uh, in fact, there's there's one evening where I had like two plays of the games in a row. That's absolutely fun. You 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 uh, blast through those games and you actually win. Um, it's it's quite fun. Uh, there was one evening where I lost five games in a row and I said, what the hell? I'm trying to get a victory, but I just can't do it. Um, it's, it's all really luck of the draw, of course, but um, I'm not playing this in ranked mode. I'm playing this uh, just on, on the quick plays, uh, just to get in, get out. Sometimes you have fun combinations and it basically allows you to... Uh, to play your favorite characters regardless of uh, what's happening. Uh, I do tend to switch at some point in the game, but I usually do go for the character that I want to play at the moment in quick play, just to have some fun, uh, not to be too worried about the results. But uh, yeah, five losses in a row, uh, that did hurt a little bit uh, and uh, got me a bit frustrated. Maybe that's the reason why I, uh, I didn't play that much Overwatch uh, in the last week, because uh, that one session uh, did stress me up a little bit. Uh, but what I did play a lot of is the Elder Scrolls Legends. Um, I'm actually enjoying the game. Uh, of course, it is a card game. It's it's very RNG. Uh, but I feel it's, it's decently paced. Games don't take all that long, to be honest. Um, and uh, I'm just basically keeping up with the daily quests, gathering up some gold so that I can make uh, a card pack opening video uh, for the Elder Scrolls Legends. So I'm, I'm still playing basically with, with basic decks. Um, basic cards that that you earn just from playing through the pve part and and just uh, getting through all the different content that the game has available the different modes of play and uh, it's it's a lot of fun i can see the depths of uh, the elder scrolls legends that it potentially has um, and uh, yeah i, I I do think that building up decks is going to be very interesting, quite a bit more challenging than in Hearthstone. And so at some point, not sure how much gold I'm going to gather, but then I'll say, all right, that's like uh, 10, 10 or 12 uh, card packs. Let's open all of those up. And after that, depending on the quests that I get, I can start building new decks, trying to uh, yeah, make better performing decks or something like that. Although I'm pretty happy with one of them that, uh, that I've already built. But the Elder Scrolls Legends, it's in open beta. There shouldn't be any wipes anymore. So uh, for me, this is definitely comes as a recommended game if you're looking for something to play uh, like every day or every up to every three days because you do have like a maximum of three daily quests. Three daily quests, yeah. And um, and it's, it's fun for me. So uh, I'm definitely enjoying it, making videos about it. And I'm going to uh, keep uh, covering the game as well. Um, so there you go, guys. That was basically my week in games. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.